In this video, I'll show you how to create part three step-by-step -step in Autodesk Inventor 2019. All right, first, if we take a look at our multi-view, we can see the part three uh, is rectangular. We have uh, an overall shape of a four inch by two inch rectangle. It has a part here on the one side that rises up a bit. And we also have a part here on the other side where we have a square hole that goes all the way through the part. We know that the entire object is one inch tall. And this bottom layer is a half inch tall. So we also know that this second layer would also be a half inch because that half inch plus another half gets us to the overall height of one inch. We know that this uh, upper portion on the, the one side here is two inches by two inches because the full width here is two. So this is a two inch by two inch square. We also know that this square hole, while we don't know, we, we could figure out that it's uh, it's one inch on a side and one inch on a side, but really what we know from the drawing is that the edges of the square hole are one half inch away from the edges of the part on all four sides. So that'll be sort of tricky with the dimension tool. I'll show you how to do that as we get there. Now, we're going to break this up into three main chunks. We're going to start with our base of a four inch by two inch rectangle that will extrude up to our half inch. Second, we'll add this square on the one side, our two inch by two inch square that gets extruded up. And third, uh, we'll cut out this hole. Okay, in Inventor, we'll start with a new part. Once this is loaded, please click Start 2D Sketch. And for this part, uh, I'm going to start drawing on the top view, All right? So that's going to change uh, which work plane we start from. We're going to start on the XZ plane. So this one here, we'll click the XZ plane. And for whatever reason, uh, when we start here, my top view is sort of uh, flipped over 90 degrees. So I'm going to click on this arrow so to rotate that back up so I can see my top view correctly. Okay, so we should start with a rectangle that's two inches wide and four inches tall. So in Inventor, we're going to click the Rectangle tool. We'll bring the cursor to the origin. It should snap with a green dot. We're going to click once. Start moving the mouse up and to the right. At this point, uh, I can just type in our dimensions. I know that it should be two inches wide. I'll press two on the keyboard. Tab. And four for four inches tall. Enter to accept those dimensions. So we have a four inch by two inch rectangle. And that's all we need at the start here. We can finish our sketch. I'll click Zoom All here, the page with the magnifying glass, to see the whole thing. And here we can extrude this shape to one half inch. We have to type in 0.5 here. By default, it was set to one inch. We'll change that to 0.5. And OK. So, so far, we have this sort of first layer, right? We've got a four inch by two inch rectangle. It is one half inch tall. And now we can move on to our second uh, chunk here for this part, which would be creating this raised square uh, on the one side. Okay, we know that this square is gonna start from the back edge. It's two inches by two inches. And we're going to extrude it one half inch up from what we already created, right? In order to do that, we'll click Start 2D Sketch. We'll click on the top of our rectangle. 
And for this one, uh, I'm going to switch it to the home view. I'm going to come over to the view cube, click on the little home view icon, because I think this view is a little clearer uh, to see what we're doing. We'll click the rectangle tool and bring our cursor up to one of these back corners. Start at this top one here. Sort of hover over the corner until it snaps with that green dot. And we'll click. We'll start bringing our cursor towards the center of the part. And we know this square will be two inches by two inches. So we could press two on the keyboard. Tab. Two. Enter. To give us our two inch by two inch square. Here we see how that square is going to give us this. Uh, once we extrude it, that half inch, we can finish our sketch. Click Extrude. You can see it's already set to one half inch, right? 0.5. Looks good. Click OK. All right. First two chunks of work on this part are done. We have our sort of flat base. We have our raised square at the back. Uh, and now we have to figure out this square hole. So again, we don't really have the exact length of the sides. We can work it out because it's going to be two inches minus a half and another half. So two minus one. We know that this is going to be one inch on a side, but it's not dimensioned that way. And, and really, the way it is dimensioned is going to make sure that it's centered in this bottom portion of the part. Because it's not just saying it's a one inch by one inch square somewhere. It's dimensioning it this way so that it's perfectly centered a half inch from this edge, uh, a half inch from this edge, right? A half inch from this edge here and a half inch from this edge here. So that's how we're going to set that up in our sketch. First, we're going to click Start 2D Sketch, and we're going to click on this lower portion of the part. Sort of recenter this with my pan tool a little bit so I can see everything I want to see, and I'll click the Rectangle tool. Now, right now, the size of the rectangle doesn't really matter exactly where you put it doesn't really matter uh, just have some sort of rectangle kind of like that in the middle of our part and that's fine for now because our next step is going to be to use our dimension tool dimension tool is up here we'll click it in order to uh, set our dimensions for our square hole okay to do this We've got a couple of clicks here. First, we're going to click on the edge of the square hole. You can see that a number is following my uh, mouse cursor with some leader lines. That's telling me the length of that line right now. If I click on the second line here, if I click on this edge of the part, so that's a second click, notice now my uh, number and my arrows change. So now, because I clicked on two parallel lines, it's showing me the distance between these lines. I'm going to bring this dimension down outside the part a little bit and click a third time. That's going to place that dimension there. And now in this edit dimension uh, box, I can change this dimension to be what I want it to be. So again, checking our multi-view, uh, all of these dimensions from the edge of the hole to the edge of the part have to be 0.5. So here in our edit dimension, we're going to make that 0.5, enter. See that moved a bit. And now this line is purple, right? All the rest are still green, but this line is purple because that line is sort of locked in place. It's constrained. Uh, what we have to do now is go through all the rest of the lines in this square uh, to constrain those to our exact dimensions. Uh, this entire square will be purple by the time we're ready to move on and extrude it to make the hole. Okay, next step. Let's click on this bottom edge of the hole. Was one click. Bottom edge of the part. 
to second click. Bring this dimension out from the part and click again. So it's a third click. And we'll make that 0.5. Enter. We can see that this bottom edge is now purple. We'll click this right edge of the hole. We'll click the right edge of the part. Bring our dimension down outside the part. Change that to 0.5. Enter. And one more. Click this top edge of the hole. Click this edge of the part. Bring the dimension out. Click. And 0.5. Enter. All right, with that, we have a square that is one half inch from this edge, one half inch from this edge, one half inch from this edge, right? And one half inch from this edge. So our uh, square is centered, it's fully dimensioned, and we are ready to finish this part. Click Finish Sketch. We'll click Extrude. And here, because it's not sure what we're trying to extrude, right? We can do this sort of outer ring or this middle uh, square. We're going to click that middle square. And in order to cut material away, we have to choose the cut option here in the extrude options. You'll notice that the highlight changed to red. It's now cutting down through the part. It's going to remove that material. It's going to go for a distance of 0.5, which should get us all the way through. So we can click OK. All right, and with that, we've completed part three. All right, maybe take a minute, come up to our default drop down, and choose a color for our part. All right, don't forget to save. So you're going to click File, Save, save this to your My Documents. I'd recommend you call it part three. And then don't forget to grab a snipping tool screenshot from the home view just like this in order to turn it in on Classroom for the assignment. All right. Again, nice work. We'll see you on the next one.